Um, yeah, I think the main problem I have is that I get this pain on the right side of my neck. My right scapula has this swinging going on. Both neck pain and a wing scapula can be created by this one muscle. And in today's video, I'm not only going to be showing you what that one muscle is, I'm going to be showing you how to properly massage it so you can get rid of both problems at the same time. Now this is part three out of four of a mini series. So if you haven't seen part one and two, then make sure to go watch those first because there, I'm going to be laying out the groundwork that I did with Leonor in order to get her to this point. Um, yeah, I think the main problem I have is that I get this pain on the right side of my neck. And it can be just um, any time when I'm resting and not doing anything. It can be there all the time. Or uh, nowadays, when I do most of the exercises that I do that are variations of what... Uh, was on the program on week two. Um, I, I get this really sharp pain in the back of my neck on the right side. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just really annoying. It's not like the nerve pain that goes out to the hands, but it's a really sharp pain in the neck. And uh, I've noticed, like I've filled myself and I've noticed that, for instance, when I do the band pull apart, that when the um, scapula are supposed to come together like on my right side many muscles contract that seem to be like they should not tense up like that um, and I don't know I've tried you know like to relax those muscles but maybe it's some kind of chain that is not addressed somehow I don't know can be like on the back side uh, over here or more on the front both like it feels like it's alongside the SCM and I can work it as much as I want it's not going to release like I can massage the SCM but it's just I don't know so yeah it's a bit tricky because I think the exercises are good for me but it's really painful on the right side so yeah it's a bit tricky interesting um I think I might know what that might be. Do you feel it mostly only with the front pulls? No. Um, I've tried also like the one uh, against the wall when you have to open your hands like this. And same there. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. I can show you if you want to see. Like, I don't know. Uh, yes, if, please. Uh, I have. Uh, Filmed it, so let me. Let me see. Make sure my thing is okay. We can share. There we go. It looks like it's good enough. Okay, so this is um, which one was it? This was the band pull apart one. And like. From what I can see and what I feel is like this part up here is really tense and I, I feel it up my neck here. And what I see but I don't feel is this thing. I don't know what this, <laughs> why this muscle is tensing up as well. Maybe this is okay. I don't know. But up here, it's like the whole region here is just going. And I. It looks like your upper traps, maybe even the levator scapula underneath it. Two common muscles that attach to the scapula. Yeah. Um, that might be why. It also kind of looks like the right scapula is just a little higher. Mm. Um, that might be, again, from those muscles kind of pulling up when you're contracting. Yeah. One quick fix we can try. You can try next time, just whenever. If you want to do your front pulls, you keep your shoulders down and back. And you're kind of, instead of just pulling back, you're thinking about down, shoulders down and back the whole time now. And that will disengage the upper traps a little bit, but we might need to just massage that area a little bit before you do this. And hopefully they can disengage. Mm. Sure, I can try. And uh, I don't know if you remember, I showed you like the... Um, my right scapula has this swinging going on. 
And so it's been really hard to get the external rotation to work without losing this scapular position. So this is also something that I find really hard to engage properly. I can show you this as well if you want. Yes, please. Um, let me take it. So I didn't film low enough, but I think you're going to see on the left side, everything's fine. Now I'm just doing one side at a time. So this, I think it's okay. But then when I, if I don't, um, if I just do opening up to the right side, no, it's still left. Yeah, this is what happens. And then I try to position the scapula in a better place and open up and still it just moves around and it's really hard for me to... Can you show the left side and then the right side one more time, please? Yeah. This feels okay for me, and I guess it looks okay. And then the, the right side. Or the right side, the lower angles popping out. Yeah. And you're trying to see how can I keep that glue together. Yeah. And there I try to put it on the right sp spot, but it still is not working. So th okay. these are my main uh, problems that the exercises are very challenging to do, and I've had a hard time finding some kind of external rotation on the right side that I can manage to do and does the yeah engages the correct muscles. All right, so as you can see here, whenever she performs some kind of external rotation within the shoulder, she ends up having some kind of wing scapula, which is when that lower angle pops away from the body. We can see that with that shadow, basically, where it pops up. And because she's been trying to work this now by strengthening not only the rhomboids, but also the serratus anterior, we had to figure out a different solution. So here's what we did. If we take those first clues, which is her neck pain, and then we combine it with that bulge we saw whenever she had that wing scapula. We can kind of come to a simple conclusion here as to which muscle might be the issue. And that one muscle is going to be the levator scapula. And even though I mentioned it briefly in the last video, I do believe now that is the main problem because we've worked on all the other issues. Now the reason why I believe the levator scapula is going to be the biggest reason is because number one, when the levator scapula gets tight and full of trigger points, it can actually create pain somewhat similar to what Leonor was describing. It can also create pain down into the rhomboids as well. Number two, shortened muscles bulge. If you were to contract the biceps, you will notice that the muscle is bulging up and that's because all the tissues are overlapping each other. That's just natural and that's what happens when a muscle contracts. And number three, the levator scapula can actually be the hidden reason for her wing scapula as well. It's because the muscles that oppose the serratus anterior are most likely too tight and preventing it from firing up. But which muscles are we trying to target here? Well, because Leonore and I have been working together now for a few weeks, I already know that she's already massaged the shit out of her pec minor, so that's most likely not the problem. I also know that she's barely touched the rhomboids a little bit, so that could be a cause. But one that I know she probably hasn't touched yet is going to be the levator scapula. And then when you add all these other problems, like the neck pain included, this makes it even more clear that this is most likely the problem. So how do you massage out the levator scapula? Well, for me personally, I like to use what's called a massage cane in order to target the muscle without having to get on the ground or get up against the wall with a ball. Now, to target this muscle, use a massage cane and find the superior and medial border of the scapula. From here, begin working on the angle right there while moving up towards the back of the head. This is where the muscle is located. What you're going to want to do here is simply look for the most tender spot you can find and begin massaging it out. You can either perform some static pressure by just hanging out there. You can perform some micro movements by moving back and forth and side to side. 
or you can perform a pin and stretch by laterally flexing the neck to the other side or moving the arm up, which will then create an upper rotation and stretch out the muscle as well. Massage out that muscle with whatever technique you want or a combination of them for roughly two to five minutes before you try to work out that serratus anterior. You can even try rolling out the rhomboids to see if that helps you even more. Now, if you want to see how all this turned out for her wing scapula and her thoughts on the 21 day TOS challenge, then make sure to click on the video in the top right corner.